Imagine Each Duo created the Urban Water Challenge with 11th Hour Racing and Blue Water to really show us what is possible. So often the conversation is around the state of water being so bleak, but in reality there are solutions out there that work, solutions that the 2019 finalists are showing us. We do this by providing direct pilot funding to validate and test these solutions. For an earlier stage company, for example, this might be an opportunity for market validation. For a later stage company, there's an opportunity to scale in a new market. What I really like about the Urban Water Challenge is that each year, really seeing who's behind these ideas and being able to understand who's going to go the furthest based on what they have. And it's not always the technology, it's often an innovative business model and a personality that really can connect with the people that need the solutions the most. To re reimagine the world is to reimagine how water is actually provided in Kenya, in, in the global south. The Urban Water Challenge is a great platform for us not only to showcase what we do, but at the same time it provides a very realistic chance of connecting with different businesses, different ideas. We can fundamentally change the economics of putting a pipe underground, allowing developing countries to give more access to water and sanitation for its people. I also imagine that my daughter and her daughters and her children will continue to get water for life. And that's, that's the far-reaching imagination that I have. We want very much to help and we want very much to solve the problem of climate change and of urban flooding because it's happening. We can't prevent it anymore, um, but we want to help protect against it. Plastic's really hard to inspect, and it's really vital to developing economies that need something that's fast, easy to implement when they're growing. Having talked to, to the winner from uh, the previous edition, that's really encouraging. So I hope to see real tangible results from the deployments from the three winners now in the coming year. While tonight's award ceremony certainly marks a really exciting milestone, I think we're even more excited to see these technologies get applied in the real world in communities around the globe.